hello everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how you can create card fields so here i have a teacher table another is a student table in this video i will create a card page for my teacher table that contains a part page called class schedule so first let's create a card page for my teacher table so under this new folder i'm going to create my new file called 50103 underscore teacher dot card page dot al hit enter so now i will use code snippet so t page here this is related to card so i will choose this first one so here enter id 103 then name teacher card so use tab to move to next area here choose the table that is teacher and the caption for this is teacher so now let's create some fields in this general group so uh, here you can see this is the layout section where i have area content in which i will create my first group that is general so in general i want to add some of my field so i will write field here and then name as it's giving me warning so i must have to include rec application area equal to all so to look into my tables fields quickly so i am drag to right so name is done here then i want to add work phone number again this is record to quickly copy these fields i can look into teacher list page and from here i can just copy all the fields as it is so my card page is ready for teacher here i will create another section for part then class schedule here the card part name will go currently i didn't have any card part page so this is giving me error so i will create in another video on this page i don't need any action so i am just commenting this so i am done with my card page let's add this card page to this teacher list page so where is the teacher list page this is the teacher list page so to attach this card page with the teacher list you must have to enter or set another property of the list page is called card page id and here the instead of id i will use the card page name so this is done as in this case you can see this is set to all and users category is administration so because of this i am able to search this teacher card directly but if you do not want that then you can remove this so i do not want to open this card page from outside so i just remove that hit press f5 to publish this extension as you can see it's authenticating authenticated and now the package is published successfully to the server wait for a few seconds till then this will do all the process behind the scene and open page number 22 directly as it is set in 
our launch.json file that is a startup object type is page and the id is 22 that is related to customer list page so after successfully publishing of the extension the page uh, customer list opened automatically now from here i can search teacher list as i attached cart page to this list here by setting property cart page id equal to my cart page so now if i click on this edit button this will open a cart page for us from here we can change any of the values but at this stage on the list page you still have a edit list option so if i want to do some quick entry i can click on this edit list to do quick entries here if i want to do some changes on the cart page let's suppose it also contains some part page then the changes in those parts is not possible from outside so we must have to open this cart page and then we can do the changes so direct changes can be done from here on edit list but the other related changes that we want to do that is actually related to the teacher table we must have to open cart page and then do the changes in the connected subforms pages so that's it for this video in next video i will create a card part for this card page and i will connect that card part to this card page and do the changes for more video like this please do like subscribe to my channel thank you for watching